Hello everybody, it's Crash Test, and I'm back. Today I'm bringing you some Game Battle Search and Destroy. I'm going to focus on spawn nades and opening routes, but also just some general gameplay because it's fun to watch. It features uh, my friend Slyfox and some of uh, his teammates Homicide and Studley. We haven't seen these guys before on the channel, but uh, you know, I hope you, got, I hope you like it. Alright, notice right away, everybody runs straight up the right hand side. Nobody goes over uh, to the left through the building. And uh, I'll show you the reason over the course of this game. It's because there's too many good spawn nades that, that land right in there and will could end your round really, really. So some good awareness of the spawn over there throws a nade over towards it and picks up a bit of a lucky kill. Maybe it was callouts, maybe it wasn't. It's hard to tell when you watch these things in theater mode afterwards. It's an awfully long kill to attempt with an AK, even if it is gold. Man, love those gold weapons. That's one reason I would consider prestiging. I would consider prestiging for that, but uh, not 15 times. That's the thing. Those of you who've played with me know that I've been sitting around at, uh, without prestiging at all at level 50 for uh, a long time, and probably will forever. Some gunfire nearby. Probably got a call out. Nope, oh, gets a quick look. Comes around, a little jump. Those things are surprisingly effective. Those little jump shots are really difficult to counter. So, no idea, no information at all on where the last guy is. These bomb sites really prevent uh, the sort of camping that could go on without them. It kind of forces the action a bit. So his, his teammate does a silent plant by spinning while he plants, and moves things up a little bit. Sees him on the radar, finishes off the round. I swear it gets a little bit more interesting. That was a pretty straightforward round of search and destroy. So, again, people come through the bar, but they don't go under the left over there. So it comes over to here. Teammates are still looking around, don't really know where the enemy are. They've, they've uh, basically got them contained in their spawn. They're looking around, maybe someone sneaked through. No? Well, here's where the spawn nades landed. Yep, scares them right back into their spawn. Those nades were probably a little early. If they'd arrived just a second later, they would have killed them. But as it is, it contains them, pushes them back, and now uh, Homicide is kind of sitting just on the left edge there, waiting for anything to happen, being really cautious about it. Teammate up in the dumpster picks up uh, the first blood. So now the other team's really trapped, and he kind of sets up there in the corner bit of a bad spot to set up. He's got no cover at all and he's setting himself up for a gunfight over the top of that uh, over the top of that fountain where the other guy's going to have really good cover. Here it is again from the first person point of view. Homicide being really careful. Expecting trouble. Knows they're over there. And gets his pick of a really good gunfight. Terrible move really by the other team. And another terrible move by the other team, hopping around on the table instead of getting ready for the inevitable gunfight that's coming your way. Boo! Search and destroy. So still on board with Homicide destroy here. I'm following him around for the first few rounds because he well, he just really beats it up these first few rounds. He gets like half the kills and gets a hit marker on that nade. Let's see what happened. The stun comes in on the top there and uh, and catches one guy. Homicide then comes through the building, takes a quick peek, doesn't see him, and gets killed from behind. But how could that happen? He knew he was over there. Let's see, from the first person point of view. Comes through a door, doesn't see anyone, takes a quick look, doesn't see anyone still, but he should have. Take a look. Uh, see the tip of that gun sticking out? You can just barely see the silencer. Man, that's a good spot to hide. Sucks that he got spawnated, but a really good reaction and comes through and picks up the kill. And that was pretty much the end of that round, so we'll skip right through to round four. Again, avoiding that left route. Never ever go the left route. Spawn nades arrive again near Fountain. The other team is starting to figure out not to go there. They've been uh, burned enough times. This time we're watching Studley with the G11. I've seen a few guys run G11 in game battles. You've got to be really good with it. It's uh, an unbalanced weapon. Good at range, but uh, severe disadvantage up close. Picks up one kill. Picks up two kills. 
Oh, he's playing by himself. Picks up the whole team in the matter of, like, four seconds. I love it when that happens. Alright, now we're watching Sly Fox. Sly Fox is the guy that I know, and he's the one who, uh... Actually, I was just up posting on Game Battles forums, and he's the guy who uh, offered me up the gameplay, so thanks a lot. He's running pretty much the opposite weapon. Now, I don't run this gun a lot. I know it's one of the short-range submachine guns, but is it maybe the Comparis? I don't know. In any case, good combination of guns on this team. We got a G11, a Comparis, and a just regular old assault rifle. Sorry, no, he's running a 74U. A lot of these games of search and destroy go a bit like this for me. Where you're running around, don't really know where the other guy is. He's slowly advancing map control towards their spawn. The other team, uh, you know, I could see them being a little conservative this round. They're down 3 1. Maybe they're camping, maybe they're back in their spawn. He doesn't know. Alright, if anyone could explain to me why he does that little double take with his gun, I've seen a lot of good gamers do that, and I don't really understand it. That's a great kill at that range, with that gun. But yeah, I would love to know what the advantages of doing that little, uh, that little double take, that little why why. So, he's the only one left, but he's got the bomb, so uh, no big deal. Just gotta find the other guy. Not a sound to be heard. Everyone runs ninja and search and destroy. There's really no other way. You've got to run Ninja and Search and Destroy game battles. I tend to think you should also be running it for Capture the Flag. Some good players don't, but for Search and Destroy there is no other way. Getting a soundboard is inevitable if you don't. Alright, well, hard luck there. Final round, Sly Fox looking for some redemption. Takes an opening route, up, route, uh, opening route up the right side. Again, avoiding that left route. Some real confidence uh, aiming down sights at that range of that gun. I don't know if he's a great shot or yeah, trying to avoid getting two-piece now. Gets out of the way of his fr uh, of his uh, teammate. Friendly fire is on, of course, this being game battles. Some more confusing YY stuff going on there. So, this team uh, starting to suspect that maybe the other team is hanging back in their spawn. Moving forward cautiously, look, checking every corner. Doubling back on the bomb site. Where the hell are they? They're thinking. Takes a good route towards their spawn, shows up with cover behind that fountain. Really not vulnerable at all until he's ready for his engagement, and just hangs out here for a little bit. They're probably still in their spawn. Oh, two-piece for the win. Sexy, sexy stuff, Sly Fox. Now, well, congratulations, Sly Fox, Homicide, and Studley on a Game Battles win. I've only got a few of those myself, so, uh, you know, respect. So the reason I haven't been posting for the last few weeks is I've been working on scrimbattles.com. It's a new website of my own, um, kind of similar to Game Battles in that, uh, you know, it's competitive black ops, it's tournaments, it's ladders. Uh, it's in beta mode still, so it's not really open for everyone to use yet. But if you're willing to go, uh, if you want to go over there and you're willing to deal with beta mode bugs and the fact that not everything's done yet, you know, come on over, compete, start a team, compete on the ladders, and uh, and rise up the ranks. I should be having another crash test cup coming up, uh, hopefully this weekend if I can get the software ready in time. But if not this weekend, then next weekend. So I hope to see you all over there, and uh, thanks a lot for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe.